Hey everyone, welcome back to The Pete Perspective. My name is Pete and if you're new to the channel, I wanna extend a special welcome to you. Thank you always for joining and just being here. This channel is committed to just covering rebrands, branding overall. Um, man, anytime there's a rebrand, whether it be big, small, a boutique studio or big corporate um, branding studio or agency, we wanna talk about it and discuss it and talk about the value that's being added, why it matters and honestly just share a perspective on the rebrand itself. So if you're interested in any of that, you are in the right place. But anyways, today I wanna to answer the question, I am a designer, do I need to go to college, all right? I'm a designer, I'm a creative, I'm a graphic designer, I'm in high school, maybe just considering some different things. Maybe even you're not in high school, maybe you're just, you're in a different field and you're wondering about design, you're wondering if this is for you and if it's something that you can actually make a career out of. And so I wanna answer some of these questions in this video. So stick around and let's get to it. Welcome back. Hey, look, a lot of times we as people switch it up, right? We try things and they don't always work out and therefore we move on to something else. And so there's a lot of, there's kind of maybe two people groups that I wanna to speak to today in particular, the high schooler, right? Or someone who is in that kind of age of life and stage of life, I should say, and um, really wondering, hey, is design, is graphic design, is branding, are those things that I really wanna get into? And do I need to go to college for that? And then the other person is someone who, like I said in the beginning of the video, you are in a career, right? Maybe you're a nurse, maybe you're doing dental hygiene, maybe you're, you're just whatever it is for you. And you see these people on Instagram and you see them posting work and sharing and you're like, man, that's so cool. I love the stuff that they do. I wonder if I could also, you know, take part in that and really make design and branding a career. And so the question is, do you need to go to college? Do you need to go to college? There's a lot of people that would instantly say no. I think there's a lot of people that would instantly say yes. And I wanna share with you guys where I land, but I want that to come a little bit later in the video. I think overall, you really need to ask yourself a few different questions. One, is this a skill that you enjoy? Like, is branding and design, I, if you follow me on Instagram at all, which you, if you don't, you totally should. It's just at Pete underscore underscore Rodriguez. Again, it's at Pete underscore underscore Rodriguez. And um, I just posted something, it's a carousel post, and it's talking about how designers really do love people. And you say, okay, well, why do designers love people? I don't know, I'm a designer, but I don't necessarily love people. And I would say, well, people have problems, okay? People are, we are the main contributors of problems to this world, I would argue. And um, people have problems, and so you really want to help people as a designer. Design is the art of, not the art, it's just problem solving, right? Art is expressive, um, art is an expression, but design is not art. Design is solving a problem because someone comes to you with a problem that they need solved, and a lot of what we do is helping them diagnose that problem before we even begin. And so, um, you know, go check that post out because I think it's really insightful, especially for those of you that don't think you're people-oriented or love people, uh, or love working with people. Um, but really I would ask myself, hey, do, is this something that brings me life? When I see design, when I experience it, is it something that brings me life? And maybe, you know, you could say, hey, when I started as a designer, it didn't really bring me life, but I learned to love it and, <clears throat> excuse me, love grows over time and I would say that's absolutely true. But I do think there's something to be said about just that feeling of, man, I, I can be excited. You need to envision, be able to envision your future before you jump in on it, right? Like you want to be able to say like, man, that's something I can really get behind and feel excited about. The other thing I would consider too is finances. Like, do you, you know, map, sort of map out the next five to 10 years of your life and not actually map it out because that would be ridiculous, but like just sort of think about where you want to be. And if you value like, you have to sort of follow your values and, and your convictions. And so if you're somebody who really enjoys like the, the climb and, and sort of corporate world and like promotions and having consistent pay and all that sort of stuff, like maybe you should consider being like an in-house designer, right? Or work for an agency. Um, that's one way to kind of scratch that corporate itch that you love like being in a workplace and that sort of stuff. But if you love, 
freedom and kind of like working for yourself and doing that sort of thing, maybe you're better suited for starting your own thing or being a freelance designer. All that to say, I really do think that to answer the question, do you need to go to college? I would say off the bat, no. I can tell you 10 designers right now that I know of that aren't educated formally, but obviously like know the school of hard, are taught by the school of hard knocks and like you learn as you go and you figure stuff out as you go. You could be very successful doing that. I don't think you need a formal education to be a successful designer or even a successful artist. And I love that. And I will say so that the answer is really clearly, no, you do not need it. But the question should be, is it valuable? If I go to college, again, college doesn't have to equal $100,000 in debt four years, right? Like I myself went to a technology school, which was two years. So I have my associate's degree and left there with minimal next to zero dollars in debt and an associate's degree and really all the things that I feel like I could have learned in, a, in school were as it relates to knowledge of design. Because there is a threshold of you, there, there are fundamentals that are really great to learn. The presence of having someone who's overseeing you, right, in a, in a college ed education setting. And then there's things that you just need to learn on your own, right? Pricing, what softwares do I use? QuickBooks, HoneyBook, all these different things. Like, these are all small details that you're not gonna necessarily learn in college, but the school of hard knocks and just life itself will teach you. And so, for me, I would say the biggest benefit of going to college, again, college doesn't have to equal $100,000 in debt, four years, you don't have to take that approach, right? There are other ways to go about doing so. Scholarships, if you're Spanish, per, a person of color, black, you know, there's scholarships out there for you. If your parents make a certain amount of money or don't make a certain amount of money, you can get scholarships. If you make your prom dress out of duct tape, I think duct tape brand has a scholarship for it. So. There's always ways to accomplish what you wanna accomplish without getting in debt. But that's for another video. As it relates to school, I think that um, one of the biggest things that people don't consider is being in a place with other designers who are also learning. One of the most refining things for me was just collaborating with other classmates, but also sort of just being able to share work and then also get feedback, right? Like what is it like to in real time get active feedback and have to stomach that feedback in person? And like, those are all great things that happen in college that might not happen if you jump the gun. And I think we sort of live in this renaissance right now where everyone is creative. Everyone has to have a store for an online and everyone has to have a website. And there's nothing wrong with it at all. But I do think that submitting yourself for a season to learn and to focus on the fundamentals really can propel your launch past a lot of those people who need to learn every lesson very slowly. Um, I do think there's some some gold and wealth relates to knowledge in the pursuit of a post-secondary education or like college. To answer the question, no, you don't need to go to college, but is it beneficial? Absolutely, it's absolutely beneficial and I think that it will set you apart as a designer if you do go and if you submit yourself while you're there. I see so many people coming out of school and uh, they're just average, right? Like they spent the, that time learning, but they didn't go the extra mile and truly like dig in and like try to be the best in the class and like not being a teacher's pet or anything like that, but like actively trying to be a really great designer while you're in school is a big, big deal and never underestimate just people liking you. People wanna work with not the best designer, they wanna work with the people they like. And so positioning in yourself in such a way that, hey, I'm not just a good designer, I'm not just a great designer, but I'm also somebody that people really, really enjoy working with and can build partnerships with and um, things that go beyond just the work, but really like will last forever and it's about leaving that legacy. So if you're out there and you're somebody who, you, maybe you're in college and you're considering, hey, should I go to college? Um, I would say if you can go to college with taking on minimal debt and not digging yourself in a hole, I would say absolutely go for it. Some debt is okay, like some debt is reasonable, but you don't necessarily need to. But I do think there's a lot of advantages in going to school and if you're somebody who's like wanting to shift careers and do something different, I would say the same thing. Like you don't need to go to school. In your, in your situation, it might make more sense to jump on Skillshare, an online learning platform, you know, go on YouTube and just kind of learn as you go and 
what the market demand is for you and your work as you learn. If you're in the high school age group, I would say, man, there's a lot of value in just allowing yourself that season and that space, whether it's one year, two years, whether you get a certificate or a bachelor's or a master's. I don't think you need a master's in design to be great, but follow your convictions, follow your gut, and know that I'm here for you guys. If you know you ever have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. It's the Pete Perspective at gmail.com. Let me know your questions down below. And if you have any other thoughts surrounding, should I go to college? Should I not go to college? Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the topic and uh, we can hash it out down there, all right? Y'all, thanks for chilling. Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and um, yeah, check out my website, PeteDesignCompany.com, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Peace. Thank you.